show YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to connect visual uh, basic dot net to my my SQL database so I can't think of the best example to take but I have this project that I've been working on right now okay um, and luckily for me I have Visual Studio 2012 uh, it's just for evaluation purposes only like you can see the presentation is the presentation is uh I really love it it's so it's so cool yeah thank you Microsoft I really love this one okay I'm going to do to open up uh, the application that I've been working on sorry about that uh, okay so here I have a form so here I have a form and this form um, is for users as you can see and I have a, the, a save button I believe you have a background in visual basic.net in creating all these uh, uh, controls on the palette of the first name the surname username password and the confirmation for that password the user has to enter everything I've done some val some validation on the code so so to carry on um, I have uh, this project so what I need is uh, to connect my SQL to vb.net and uh, if you don't have my SQL you have to go on Google and search for it you'll get a link to to my SQL website and then download the w latest you can download the web branch the web branch uh, there is nothing bad about it uh, my SQL server well, uh, right now I have the installer for the MySQL installer community, 5.5.29.0, and uh, yeah. So after you install, after you download it, then you just install it like a normal program. I don't want to install it because I have already installed it. Uh, to check. I've uh, already installed it. installed it like this one is my workbench and my command line my SQL command line my SQL workbench and my SQL notifier my SQL installer this is uh, all the components that are available so after that uh, I guess I will have to we will have to create a database using MySQL and remember when you install MySQL you will be prompted for a password you have to remember that password and also you have to remo remember the port number and also yeah of course your username uh, let me try yes my password worked so this is the command line client for MySQL 5.5 I want to show all the databases that I have on the uh, MySQL workbench show databases press enter and uh, these are all of my databases these are all of my databases and uh, I want to create a new database create databases called user okay and um, create database the normal uh, the normal commands query okay one row affected that is uh, showing that we have successfully created our database so to use this database or rather to show if it exists now 
there and we have this database um, user it's now part of the list of the databases so to use it we have to specify and then database change which means the database everything that we'll be doing creating tables or adding whatsoever values we will be working under the user database so we need to create table create table person create table person um create table person let's say uh what do i have there first name first name uh it's varcha let me just say varcha 20 comma surname it's varcha 20 comma what else Username Varcha twenty again comma password Varcha twenty okay so basically this is what all we need and to show that we have successfully created our table query okay it's notifying us that the query that we just paused create table person with the, uh, these fields is okay and zero rows affected and the time and stuff like that so we exit okay or oh, right now what we can do is uh, insert a lit a little bit insert into insert into what into table person insert into person what uh, the first name it's supposed to be uh, between the supposed to be between the courts it's Tadiwa that's my name of course Tadiwa or rather Tadiwa Nashi that's my name uh surname Mataruse um username Yui Yui, and then the password. I'm just gonna say, um, admin as my password. Oh, we get an error. Where is the problem? Okay, I've left out uh, values, I believe. Insert into person values, and then voila, it's now fine. So to check, select all from person. Select all from person. Yeah, so far we have the first name Tadiwanashi, the surname Mataruse, username Yui, password admin. Okay, we'll minimize this. So how then do we connect it uh, to to a Visual Basic, to a uh, Visual Studio project? Okay, first and foremost, MySQL is not a product of Microsoft, so it's a, it's considered an external product so you have to have connectors to connect mysql and vb.net and uh 
the good thing about it is the MySQL company Oracle, they have uh, produced uh, a MySQL connector, a .NET MySQL connector that you can use to connect MySQL to VB.NET. So you have to install that MySQL connector. Okay, so so far this is what we have and um we've created our database and uh, as well as the table and now to to make my sql that i've installed on this machine to communicate with vb.net i have downloaded a connector a my sql my sql dot my sql connector this one as you can see my sql connector net dot net 6.6.4 you can also do that on the MySQL website. So all you have to do is install it. Install it. Typical. Then install. Yes. Well, unfortunately, my time is running out. Okay, um, now that we have installed everything, uh, we're now ready to to make a connection, to create a connection between my VB.NET and MySQL. So, we will have to carry on in the next chapter. Thank you.